Last week I spoke um, at West Virginia University, and I singled out a professor, Daniel Brewster. Now, some of you will have seen the video of this so far. It, it's, it's received, I think, nearly a quarter of a million views so far. This is a professor at West Virginia, and I called him some rather unpleasant names. Some of you know. <laughs> I called him a fat faggot. <laughs> I called him Professor Hamburger. <laughs> I called him Professor Fatass. And I called him Professor Stuffing Your Face with Fruit Loops. Um, and I did this not only because I take huge pleasure in the misery of fat people, um, but it's their own choice, you know. They're not born like that. They're not like fags. Um, I, t I take great pleasure in the suffering of people who have made bad life choices, like vapors, feminists, Democrats, cyclists, and of course the morbidly obese. Um, but this particular professor found himself in my crosshairs for a, a, a more noble reason. He found himself in my crosshairs because um, he had been victimizing, and there's really only one word for it, it's really the only, the only thing you can call it. He had been victimizing libertarian and conservative students on campus openly telling them that they would be marked down if they didn't pretend to agree with him when they wrote their essays. Openly telling them that if they weren't progressives, if they weren't liberals, they might as well just leave the room. This guy's a bully. He's a piece of shit. And students can't say so. And the reason they can't say so is that these people hold your educational futures in their hands. These are the people who can give you the gift of a good degree and potentially a good career afterwards. And this guy was sort of openly saying, if you have the wrong politics, I'm going to fail you. Or I'm going to make your life really difficult. And I spoke to a couple of students from West Virginia and they said, um, you know, he's, he's ridiculed us, he's thrown us out of class, he's mocked us down in exams. And I thought, well, professors normally rule the roost, you know, they have this sort of unbroken power, um, they're, they're unopposed, and students are too terrified to question what is in some cases total fucking garbage that they're telling you. But they don't have that power over me. So, um, <laughs> so I, I sauntered down to, to West Virginia and told this fellow what I thought of him, although of course he didn't show up because, and is a perfect example of the sort of misuse of power that I've been talking about, he staged um, a, a, an LGBTQRIAA ampersand <laughs> event across campus at the same time as my talk and told his students they would get extra credit if they attended. In other words, Come and listen to this gay, because that gay's got the wrong opinions. And if you listen to that gay, you'll get a worse grade. What a cunt! <laughs> what a total cunt! So, I, 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 I did call him a bad name. Um, and the press has been very upset about it. Inside Higher Education reported in very solemn tones um, that I had spoken at West, uh, West Virginia University and I had used um, homophobic slurs. They forgot to mention that I was gay. I mean, fucking look at me. <laughs> they forgot to mention that I was gay, just in case any of their readers didn't know about me and so were kind of taken along by the lie that this was some sort of vast right-wing, alt-right, Breitbart conspiracy to hate gay people. Give me a fucking break. No, the guy's just a cunt. Anyway, so... <laughs> The press got very upset about it, but I've been enjoying the coverage because you'll read this in these very solemn tones. There'll be sort of like um, um, a controversial right-wing speaker attended West uh, Virginia University and um, was uh, was responsible for um, unacceptable slurs about a professor there. Um, Daniel Brewster was subjected to uh, ridicule and uh, criticism. His picture appeared on a university projector alongside the words "fat faggot," um, and they do it in capitals, just like the slide did. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I have a mess. Well, the people, so anyway, people keep asking me. They've been writing to me. Journalists keep writing to me. And they keep saying, "Would you like to say something?" Um, and I said, "Well, other than to reaffirm the accuracy of my description of him, 
no. Um, and so one of them called me up from inside higher education and said, would you like to apologize? I said, yes, yes, I would. I'd like to apologize that I wasn't speaking in front of the entire university. I'd like to apologize I didn't go further. Um, and I would like, you know, they didn't print this, of course. Um, right, so this is, this is not, not, not only am I not sorry, but this guy I would like to hold up as an example to all of you. And I would like to hold him up as an example forever. I'm going to make him into a bit of a character. He's going to become a recurring character in my tour now. Fat faggot Brewster. <laughs> did you see the hashtag, by the way? They did, um, they did, they did the, 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 university, the president of the university, or whatever, some weird guy with bow ties. Um, so only, only Americans wear bow ties. We don't actually do that. I know you all think British people wear bow ties, but we don't. We think you look ridiculous. Um, <laughs> Uh, anyway, so this is because of Brewster was the hashtag. Hashtag because of Brewster. Because of Brewster, I've been my mind has been open to like cis -het patriarchal heteronormativity. Um, because of Brewster, I'm finally aware of the privilege that like my parents have given me. Because of Bre like, oh, oh. I just posted on Snapchat because of Brewster with myself on a treadmill. Um, you know, because, <laughs> because if this. If there's one thing that man's taught me, it's to put down the cake. Um, anyway, anyway, I'm going to turn him into a bit of a character. Um, I would just like, however, to say um, to you and to everybody watching at home, um, and to anybody listening and to the horrified journalists of Inside Higher Education, um, I'm not going to apologize. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to say Daniel Brewster is a warning. If you are one of those professors who hates libertarians, who hates conservatives, who openly discriminates and says they're going to discriminate uh, and makes life hell for people who have the wrong political opinions, I am coming for you. I'm going to find you and I'm going to make you famous. That is my message. That is my message to the Daniel Brewsters of this world. Because you guys can't answer back to these tyrants, but I can.